K. Sepultura Rise. <laughs> Okay, so third fret power chord, slide it down on the second fret, hit the fourth fret power chord, speed pick the first fret on the sixth string, and then open sixth string power chord. What I just told you was this. So it's third fret to second fret slide, to the fourth fret pick that, and then speed pick on the uh, first fret, on the sixth string, and then do the uh, open power chord there on the sixth uh, sixth string. Okay, that's the opening riff to this song. Okay, then the guitar is going to keep going. It's going to sound very chaotic, but there actually is a riff there, and that's it. That's actually the entire opening part. before it gets into the So what you want to do is you want to get that rhythm down because you the, the you want to get that rhythm down because he plays it throughout the song. So what it is is it's speed picking but he stops at a certain point and then he picks it up again and then he does that first fret power chord. Okay? So it's So it's Okay? You just gotta, I'm gonna go into that riff more later. When, you, when I show you it later, you'll understand this riff in the beginning a little better. So I'm just gonna start this whole beginning part slowly for you. One thing you got to know, when you come out of this riff, and then you start on that first fret power chord there, you got to hit the open sixth string before starting the, before the starting that riff, you got to hit the open sixth string exactly three times starting with the down stroke. So like this. And the reason why I say that is because you've always got to start up picking the fifth string. And, and that way you can go back and forth between the fifth string and the sixth string going up, down, up, down. So like this. Okay, well, he's going to start there on the fifth string on the seventh fret. Up pick, open sixth string, sixth fret, fifth string, open sixth string. And go do it again. You do, I actually do it twice, and then on the the after the second time, you're gonna hit the sixth fret on the fifth string two times, and then land on the seventh fret on the fifth string. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. So that riff is a little tricky. You want to start as slow as I just did before you get it real fast. I am going to play it real time for you. That way you can kind of get a sense for uh, how it sounds after playing it slowly. So uh, from there we're going to go into the rest of the song. Then he starts singing, obscured by the sun, whatever. So from that first riff, we're going to come right out of that. Okay, if you notice when they come out of that riff, they're going to do that first fret power chord. You're going to hit it twice. Okay, again, this is all speed picking, but you can hear, you got to get a rhythm for when he breaks the speed picking and then picks it back up. 
So it's almost like he gets going, he stops, and then he tries to catch back up with himself. All, all with that first fret power chord in between. So it's like this. Now if you notice when I do that break, like this, I'm kind of, I'm hitting, I'm palm muting that open six string power chord, the full chord. Okay, so it's kind of like this. Okay, so from that riff, um, he's going to go into the... But you notice the riff's a little more drawn out. He's not playing it as short as he was before, uh, which actually, I think, kind of makes it easier. Um, so what he's going to do, again, you're going to come out of that... So right when you come out of that... that that when you hit that first fret power chord there on the six string two times, right when you come out of there, you have gotta hit that open six string three times. It's almost like the the um, I don't know the the gallop before the main riff. You just gotta do it three times, and then you're gonna be up picking again the same exact riff I showed you before, except it's just he's hitting that sixth fret on the fifth string more times than two. Okay, if you notice, when he's hitting that, he's hitting the sixth string from there open three times. Okay, so from there, uh, it's going to go into the verse of the song. Um, so I'm going to play that uh, that rhythm into that um, the part I just showed you right before the verse. So from there, again, that rhythm, I'm going to play that real slowly for you right now, so hopefully you get it. Okay, just try and play along with that. Again, speed picking, that's like this. Okay, so when he's doing that riff, he's singing, you know, and he's um, going through the whole verse of the song. Then you're going to hear that. And all that is, you're going to go to the 8th fret on the 5th string and the 10th and the fret on the 3rd string. Play those octaves, that octave chord, and you're going to you're gonna hit it twice. And you're going to hit it again when you go to the 10th fret and the, on the 5th string and the 12th fret on the 3rd string. Just like this. Okay, and then from there he's going to hit the first fret power chord on the sixth string, and then slide up, or and then hit the fourth fret power chord on the sixth string, but then speed pick that fourth fret on the sixth string, and then, hit, and then do the same riff again, eighth fret to tenth fret, fifth string, uh, tenth fret to twelfth fret, third string. Okay, then from there it's going to be the intro riff that I've already showed you. But it's going to go right into the... So it's going to go like this. Uh,
okay? Again, this is a pretty wild song. It's very Slayer-esque. Uh, so once you come out of the... You're actually going to just do a down pick of the sixth string. So it's... And because the riff starts immediately. So just one down pick of the sixth string, and then right into the seventh fret up pick on the fifth string. All right, I'm gonna put, play that for you real slowly. Oops. Okay. Okay, and if you notice, I didn't show this to you before, but if you notice that very last part that you play, the very last time that you're playing that riff, you cut off the, you cut off that part of it and you go right to that first fret power chord. Okay, and then he starts that riff. So it's gonna go. Okay, and that's for both times that you transition into the verse of the song. So from there, he's going to do the, the, that main riff over again, the verse riff. Okay, and then as it ends, the song's going to kind of do a break uh, or transition into some other stuff. So you're going to do that uh, first fret power chord. Okay, first fret power chord, hold that open sixth string power chord, then down picking, you're gonna go open sixth string, then that first fret power chord to the open power chord. Do it again. And then one more time. Okay, this is all down pick this part right here. I'll tell you when it's not. Um, but what he's doing there is he's um, He's going first fret power chord uh, to the open six string power chord. Then he's uh, doing a second fret power chord to fourth fret power chord. You're picking that, not sliding. Right. And then, yeah, you're picking that, not sliding. And then from that fourth fret power chord, you're doing a first fret to the open uh, power chord. So it's... But that you're gonna palm mute that that uh, first fret power chord to the open power chord, so it's gonna be like this. You gotta kind of make it pop. So play with the palm muting a little bit there. Uh, Front, and, and again, all the open six string stuff in between, down pick that. Okay, and then from there, he's gonna go into this riff. Oops, so what he's doing there is he's doing four, three on, the, this is all six string, and you're not down picking this, this is alternate picked. So you're doing 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three. Four, three open, 4-3 four, open, then 3-2 open, then 2-1 open. So that's all it is. Okay, and then from there, so that, that riff actually sounds really cool, especially going into the riff that I'm about to show you. Oops. And I just screwed up that power chord part. But whatever, you're gonna do the... You're gonna do those power chords the exact same way you were doing those. 
you're going 4-3 power chord open, 4-3 power chord open, then 3-2 power chord open, then 2-1 power chords open. And it's all from the 6th string. Whoops. And he only does that power chord riff two times, two times in a row. Okay, and then he's going to just, uh, fr from that riff, he's going to hit the open E string twice, then you're going to do that, do that slide, and then you're going to be down picking this part too, whereas he starts going, I see the world, old, oh, old, oh. so it's going to go, oh, I totally fucked that up. And I keep fucking that up. So anyway, this is what you're gonna do. Uh, when you come out of those power chord slides, you're gonna do that. Okay, that's the riff he's singing, or he's playing under that. I see the world, old, old, and it's like one of the best parts of the song. Okay, he's just down picking that, e, that six string. And then in between, um, where he says, I see the world, dead, dead. Uh, you're gonna do four, three, four, three. Four, three, open, four, three, open, and then land on that fourth fret power chord there, all in the sixth string. So I'm gonna play this whole part for you just so you get it. Now from there, you're going into the solo, and I'm not going to show you the solo, I'm going to show you the rhythm under the solo. The rhythm under the solo is basically speed pick the hell out of the open six string. For about that long, then you're going to get to the... Okay, so what he's doing there, again, this is kind of Slayer-esque, 4-3, open, 4-3, open, 4-3, open, 4-3, open. He does it four times, and then you're going to speed pick, and those are power chords, by the way. You're going to speed pick um, open 6 string, speed pick the 4 string, speed pick the 1st string, and you got to make sure you do it in a timely manner, so it's... So that's the riff, it's a very, very slayerish. And then uh, halfway through the solo, he's gonna do that. Uh he's gonna hit that third string power chord, um, and then he's gonna do that, um, that riff I showed you that's kind of the chorus, where it goes to the first fret power chord up to the fourth fret, you speed pick it, then do it again, first fret to third fret. And then that opening riff again, three, two, four, to the first fret speed pick to the open. And then the song stops for a brief moment. So, here's how it's gonna go. Guess where we are now? Back at the main riff. Okay, now is probably the hardest transition of the song. Uh, so you're gonna play that riff that I showed you before. And on that seventh fret, make sure you give it a shake. I should have told you after the beginning too. Okay. Anyway, 
from there, you're gonna go immediately, from that seventh fret of the last, that last note of that riff, you gotta go right down with your uh, middle finger to the second fret on the fourth string. You're gonna put your first finger on the first fret of the sixth string. So you're gonna go, the rhythm is gonna sound like this. Okay, and you're playing all those notes on the fourth string, second fret, and then your pointer finger there on the first fret, okay? Okay, get used to doing that because all that space in between, you got a speed pick with your first finger or your uh, pointer finger holding the first fret of the sixth string. So yeah, I, I kind of messed that up, it didn't sound very clean. But what they're going to do there is they're going to kind of play a, just a quick, I don't know, bridge back into the chorus, uh, to the verse riff. Um, and it's going to, they're going to do like a, they're going to break it up with a little, okay? And I'm going to show you that right now. So it's out of this riff. I, I, I'm totally screwing that up. So anyway, you're going to come right out of that riff. And you're going to play it twice, the whole way through. So this part twice. And then one more. And then you're going to do a first fret power chord to third fret power chord real quick, and then do the riff two times again. So it's going to go... So that riff is very tough to play because your fingers are like all the way up here, they're tripping over each other. Um, just try to ignore that fifth string and just try and, and I always down pick the, uh, the fourth string. So try and down pick the fourth string because that's what I do and if you're learning from me you might as well. Um, and the trick is you just keep your speed picking to the point where a down pick on that fourth string makes sense. So in other words your last pick on the sixth string would be an up pick. Um, but you're going so fast you're not going to know it, you just got to kind of feel for that. So anyway from there it goes back into the riff, uh, back into the main verse riff. So. And that's how the song ends. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna do that. First fret power chord to open power chord. And then down picks on that open six string and then. There the song ends. Hit me with questions. It's a tough freaking song to teach. It's a tough song to learn, but hopefully this helps you somewhere, some time along this song. Good luck.